this is the uh, upper pole of the right kidney, this is the liver and this is the mid region. At the lower pole of the right kidney, we see a cystic area, thin wall cystic area. This is a magnified view and uh, we see septas within it <coughs> which measures approximately 5.5 by 5.8 centimeters and uh, it has these are complete septas these are incomplete septas and uh, this is here with it it's giving that this artifact this uh, ring down artifact is from this uh, uh, air within this uh, cystic area at the lower end involving the low pole of the right kidney as the parenchyma in this region is uh, not visualized or the greener tissue is utilized in this region. Now rest of the kidney, the upper, the mid region and the upper pole are normal. The corticometer differentiation is intact. This is air shadow. These are tiny calcified areas <coughs> at the dependent region. And uh, there is no solid element within it seen. And I am showing you a magnified view of this uh, cystic area with internal septations and a fine dependent region uh, septas, incomplete septas thin thick with air in it this is it and patient has severe pain patient is suffering from excruciating pain I am giving a full sweep to the uh, region under study. There are no, uh, except for very small amount of dependent region. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> excuse me. Dependent region echoes. We don't see any significant amount of uh, debris within it. And uh, it's occupying the all of the low core of the right kidney and the kidney measures in a zero posterior diameter approximately 5.7 it's allied in a zero posterior diameter more than 5 is considered to be abnormal so this is a case of lobar, lobar nephronia of the right kidney thank you very much